Hey y'all, this is Sergeant Dan with Palmetto Edge, and today I have a video for you that I want to do of the uh, new version of the Benchmade bailout. This is going to be uh, not so much a review as it is a um, comparison video, uh, pretty much to the previous version of the bailout, uh, but as usual, I will still do a size comparison and a close-up for you, so let me get that close-up out of the way And there you go. I just spotted something on the video. Let me check that out real quick. See what's going on with my edge there. Okay. All right. See, I thought I had a chip in it, but it was just something on my blade. Um, all right. So there's that size comparison to the Benchmade bug out and size comparison to the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. And as you can see, it's kind of closer to, in size to the PM2 than it is the bug out. It's, uh, you know, noticeably bigger than the bug out. Slightly noticeably smaller than the PM2, but not by a whole lot there. Um, I thought I heard someone at my door there. I guess not. So, um, the new version of the bailout. So here is the old version of the bailout. So what's different? Um, particularly the steel. Um, this one is 3V. This one is M4. Uh, there was a big stink going around about the this uh, the steel, the 3V steel that Benchmade used for the um, first bug out or bailout. Uh, they made it softer than it should be intentionally to make it easier to sharpen in the field. Uh, People freaked out over that. Um, I honestly didn't notice any issues with it when I was actually actually using it in normal knife use tasks, okay? Um, and I'm not talking about stabbing through sheet metal and batoning logs with it, okay? I'm talking, you know, your, your, your normal stuff that people do with knives. Um, and even, even some more, maybe slightly more aggressive stuff that police officers do with knives, okay? Um... So, didn't notice a thing wrong with it. Actually, still have yet to have to sharpen it, okay? Uh, people freaked out over that steel, so Benchmade replaced the steel. Now it's got their M4 steel on it. Uh, the handles are no longer this uh, grivery. It's, they're now aluminum handles. Another thing people freaked out about with both the bailout and the bug out is the fact that you can flex the scales on it. And uh, people freaked out about that, and... I don't understand that either. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the scales flexing on this thing. Um, you know, for for one, if you got if you're going to use a lightweight material and you and it's thin like this, you want it to flex, people. You don't want it to be rigid because rigidity in the material this thin and this lightweight would cause it to snap when you don't want it to. And it's supposed to, if you're putting force on it, allowing it to bend and flex. Okay. So you don't you you I would much rather my knife when I'm trying to use it bend flex give a little than it go snap and me not be able to use my tool properly okay so people freaked out about that and so Benchmade made them with aluminum handles um, the pommel on the end now uh, on the new version has a glass breaker a carbide glass breaker in it um, but. Uh, you know, it's a little heavier now because it's aluminum. It's a little bit thicker. You can feel that it's a little thicker now. Um, as far as grip, it's about the same. Uh, you know, this this is a... Uh, I wouldn't ca quite call it a slick aluminum, but it's not a, an, a real aggressive texture and feel either. Um, they both, of course, still have the... Uh, deep carry pocket clips um, action on it is great 
you know, like like all Benchmades I've ever had, action on it is great, smooth, fast. Got the access lock there, so it's easy to close, easy to open. Uh, when I first got it, the blade centering wasn't too great on it. As I've used it and broken it in, blade centering's gotten much, much, much better. Uh, you know, someone commented on my unboxing on it that that was unacceptable for the blade centering to be that way and I shouldn't have to work on a knife out of the box. Well, you know, I do kind of tend to agree with that, but, you know, I tend to give Benchmade's time, work on the pivot a little myself, get it dialed into where I want it, and things usually straighten out, okay? And that's the case here. It has straightened out, gotten better, okay? No complaint as far as that goes. Uh, let's see, what else? M4 steel. M4 is absolutely fine by me. It's It's... Super hard to sharpen, but it holds an edge for forever. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I guess that's really about it, guys. Um, you know, it feels, it feels, still feels good in hand like the original did. Um, you know, because it still has that same silhouette, that same overall shape, okay? The only thing that has changed is materials, right? Um, so yeah, there you go. There's your, there's your comparison between the bug out or excuse me, the old bailout and the new bailout. I love my old bailout. I've got no complaints about it personally. I love the new bailout. I've got no complaints about it personally either. Okay. So, you know, I don't even know if you can still get these, but this one's definitely worth checking into guys. It's a great lightweight, uh, mostly tactical, kind of knife okay um so i can i can honestly recommend it of course i you know go back and look at my review of this one i could honestly recommend this one i i got no complaints about it myself either uh but yeah there you go there's the old and the new bailouts guys thank y'all for watching um uh well hold on let me uh let me get your price on it i was about to end on it but let me get you a price because i don't honestly remember what it is uh, get my phone pulled up over here, and of course they're out of stock, so it won't tell me. So I'm seeing 148.75 on Blade HQ for this one. I'm seeing 212.50 on Blade HQ for this one. Um, so uh, full disclosure, I did not pay that much for this knife. Benchmade has a service personnel program where if you're uh, military, law enforcement, first responder, anything like that, you get a discount uh, by buying directly through them. And it's usually um, a significant discount below what uh, actual retail price is in most places, okay? So I didn't pay two twelve fifty for this one. Um, at that price, I don't know that I could honestly recommend this knife. Um, there's plenty of better options out there for that price, uh, uh, let's see, off the top of my head, um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I can't think of a better, uh, I can't think of another option out there, but I, I mean, I just, I know for that price, for $212, there's, there's other options out there. And the reason why I say there's got to be better options out there is because I wouldn't pay $212.50 for this knife, okay? Um, I mean, there's ZTs out there for around that price range that are uh, just as tough, uh, just as good of materials, just as good build quality. Um, who else? Who else has stuff around that price range? I don't know. I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now, guys. I'm sorry, but, you know, do your shopping. Shop around a little, okay? Um, so, two twelve fifty for this one. That's a lot. I, I don't know that I could recommend it for that price, but if you're... If you're someone who qualifies for their uh, uh, service personnel program, first responder discount, whatever they call it, um, check it out at that level. Otherwise, if you're interested in the bailout, check out the old one. Like I said, there. If you're if you're not going to be stabbing into car hoods and batoning logs of wood in half with it, okay, then it will serve its purpose. It will do just fine. And uh, so, yeah, that's that's what I got to say about it. So there you go. There's the new and the old bailout. Um, 
Go check out my other videos on the channel. Uh, I've got plenty of them and plenty more coming. Uh, go check out my Instagram. It's at Palmetto Edge. If you like what you see in either or both places, subscribe, follow, go through and like videos, all that kind of great stuff. Thank y'all for watching this one, guys. Y'all have a good one.